Welcome to Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to find the SID in Active Directory users and computers using the PowerShell. Now for this particular case, you need to have a Windows PC joined to an Active Directory domain. Other than that, you need to be logged in as an Active Directory user account with at least the read writes to the Active Directory. And other than this, you also need to have a PowerShell Active Directory module installed and imported. After that, simply open up the PowerShell as an administrator and after that, we are going to use the commands to find the SIDs or the security identifiers of users, groups or other machines in our Active Directory. Now we are going to start out by fetching the SID of the current Active Directory user. Now for that, the command is get hyphen local user space hyphen name and then you are going to type in an environment variable so dollar sign and followed up by env and then a colon followed up by the name of the variable which is going to be username. After that, put a space and put a pipe symbol and follow it up with select hyphen object and then SID and then simply hit enter. After that, you will get the SID of the current Active Directory user which is this one. Now other than this, if you want to find the SID of a particular user or a particular local user, then you are going to use the same command but instead of the environment variable, you are going to type in the name of the user whose SID you want to fetch. So after the name flag, simply put quotation marks and then within these quotation marks type in the name of the user and in our case the name of the user is CIS admin. So after typing this command simply hit enter and you will get the ID of this particular user named as CIS admin. After that we can also get the SID of a particular user with the help of the get active directory user commandlet. So for that simply type the commandlet as get hyphen ad and then user standing for active directory user. After that you can simply type in the flag hyphen identity. And after that, follow it up with the name of the user whose SID you want to fetch. So in my case, it's going to be CIS admin. And then you're going to simply type in a pipe symbol. And then you're going to type select name SID with a space and also user principal name. After that, simply hit enter and you would get the name SID and the user principal name with the help of the get AD user commandlet. And if you want to fetch the SID of the Active Directory computer, then for that you're going to use a different commandlet. So the commandlet is get hyphen AD computer followed up by the filter flag. And then I'm going to actually search for all the computer names. So I'm just going to type in the symbol of asterisk followed up by the pipe symbol. And then I'm going to specify the object that I want to select. So it's going to be select hyphen object followed up by name and SID. And simply pressing enter would give us the name of the computer and its SID. Now if you want to fetch the SID of the Active Directory group, then for that the command let is get hyphen AD group followed up by the identity flag followed up by the name of the group. So simply type a quotation marks and then followed up by the name of the group which in my case is going to be domain admins and then pipe symbol followed up by the select object command let and we are going to select the name and the SID. So this command would give us the name of the group and the SID of that particular group. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Additionally, you can also check out the Office 365 and Active Directory auditing tool known as Infra SOS. Now, this Infra SOS helps users confirm their Active Directory and Office 365 users which are compliant and secure from any potential cyber attack. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, then make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And if you have learned anything new with this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.